Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground virtual tour, VR tour, working with both. If you've been following along, you know I'm, I'm using two cameras, sometimes three cameras on these things. I got too many dang cameras going. Anyway, I am at, where am I? Uh, Y'all already know where I am because I posted it right up there. I'm at Loafer's Bend. Loafer's Bend West. Whitney Lake. Lake Whitney. On the Brazos River. I'm headed to Buzzard Days this weekend. But I did a waypoint stop here. I was just over there in the east campground. And now we're going to do the west campground. So let me gear up. Put my cameras where they go. My helmet where it goes. It's hot, I'm thirsty, I'm gonna run out of water. What a day. Hold on, cord's tangled up. There we go. Let's okay, do some editing. Fortunately, I can't edit stuff like that out on the Insta360. At least I haven't figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> Not and have a 360 video. A 360 degree VR video. All right, let's go. Cue some music. Find some good tunes for this little ride. Gatehouse is up during the week during the weekend it's manned this park closes next week closes the first of September so the first thing we're gonna visit is down here this is the group camping loop group loop I visited this campground two years ago, thereabouts. It was actually the very first official camping trip with Trudy Thunder, our Super C. Now we did do a camp the, the day we, when we picked it up. But it was, you know, we transferred from one RV to the next. Spent the night and then went home. But we came down here to West Loafers Bend. I think they've got about 12 sites in this loop. They're all on the inside. It's like they've been working on the plumbing. <laughs> We're going to shortcut this gravel road. Since we don't have to worry about four wheels staying on pavement, we'll just cut through here. Look out! You see branches coming. Duck! All right, now had we gone back out, we would have been on this road. Now we're gonna go check out some more camping loops and some shelters. These are some of the nicest screen shelters that I have seen. Some of them are 30 amp and water. Most of them are primitive tent sizes.
up as I can go on this Caliche Road. like this one you've got enough room a fairly level spot for a motor home front suspension. Of course you have shocks on the front suspension. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. I have a front suspension that consists of shocks. That is one of the greatest primitive sights in this Corps of Engineer campground. There is one that I like better. Site down there. No point in going all the way down there. That's not where the great tent site is. It's over there. So let's go over there. see that the site up close you've got to go back in time to last Sunday's video and I actually take you on a close-up tour of that campsite down there but it's a good one if you like 
like primitive campsites with water. It's a water only site. This is a pretty good primitive site also. There's not a very there's not any place to pitch a tent though. No flat spots. Make sure you bring a good mattress.
It's Wednesday, in case you're wondering what day of the week it is, and why this campground is so empty when it's, the sun is shining, it's hot, and hey, it's Wednesday, last week of August, kids are back in school. boat ramp road and run that backwards concern for you. These three sites right here are the easiest to get level with. I know because I'm in one of those three sites. Now there are, there are three sites tucked in down here. I think it's maybe it's just two. Just the one. But it's a water only. Maybe not even a water only.
Those are always so much fun. Even when you are parched and you really need some water. If you enjoyed our little run through, where are we? West Loafers Bend. If you enjoyed our run through West Loafers Bend, please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I am most grateful. And for my patrons, thank you. You so we appreciate your generosity. You guys rock! <laughs>